<laughs> You've had sex with men for money. I what? Know. Yeah. What is this shit? So <laughs> you're gay then? I'm not gay. I'm straight. Fuck, San Francisco. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But then you blogged about it, and now it's actually affecting your ability to get a job because uh-huh. of the blog? Uh-huh. What's that all about? Um, I started a podcast and a blog where we talk about sex, and I interview escorts. Full disclosure. Full, it's called Full Disclosure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm trying to humanize sex workers and yeah. let people know that they're not these dumb pieces of meat. Yeah. And um, I started that about a year and a half ago and was not, you know, still going, but I was not able to monetize that. So then when I tried to get back into the corporate world, which I'd been a part of, working for Google and places like that, um, I found that I won't even get a phone call back anymore from a recruiter or anything like that, even though I'm totally qualified for these positions. And you did it under your name, so they're Googling you. And Full they... disclosure. Yes. yes. Okay, you didn't even change your name, right? No. Okay. So, so I'm applying for writing positions, copywriting positions, and they're like, let me see your writing portfolio, and I show it to them, and they're like, wow, that's amazing, you're so good, like, definitely never stop writing, we want nothing to do with you, because yeah. it... They can't afford That's to have that. Yeah, it's horrible. I oh. have had many sex workers email me and say, "Thank you so much. Like, um, I'm I've had the same experience. I've been terrified to talk about. It. My friends don't even know. Wow. This means a lot to me. Wow. Um, and a, so a few of them have like emailed me under their real names, and they want to meet for coffee and and just wow. to talk to someone. So, yeah, I mean, I want to like not that I'm a martyr or anything, but like I want to make this a thing where it's like, hey. Smart, well-rounded, cool, funny people can also have sex for money, and that doesn't mean that they were abused. It doesn't mean that they mm. were are they're unintelligent. That they're what you know. And is that any different than being a lobbyist or being a politician? <laughs> no, like yeah, I mean, come on. Like I've never, I've like I've ne- I used well, I should say that if I'm trying to get a job, but I'm like <laughs> I can't censor myself. Right. Um, I've never felt like such Good a whore. I've never felt like such a whore than when I worked for an ad agency. <laughs> right. Like you know, right. like I'm sorry, like. But yeah, seriously, I, mean, I need a copywriting gig. Sab- the, the term sex positive, mm-hmm. right? First of all, what does that mean to you? I would I would say having um, what have traditionally been kind of puritanical notions of sex completely divorced from it so that there's not a sense of shame. Sure. There's not a mm-hmm. sense of guilt. There's a sense of empowerment. Yeah. Um, and there's a sense of, um, of <clears throat> individual choices in people's mm-hmm. sex and sexuality. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's very positive in Listen, general. Give me a job, please. Give me a job, <laughs> give me a job please. If you go to yeah. fdpod.com, FD is in full disclosure, pod is in podcast. That's me. It's on Facebook. It's full disclosure with Eric Berry. With Eric Berry. Yeah. All right, great. Good stuff, Eric. All right.